Hello there, folks. Uh, my name is uh, Stian Brock. I am a uh, professional photographer uh, dedicated to working with uh, food and beverage. Uh, I've been working with uh, photography since about uh, 2006, uh, and I chose my path as a foodographer in uh, around 2010. Uh, my strength, uh, especially in the beginning, uh, was that I created my own style. Um, I was not the most uh, technical photographer, uh, so I had to do things uh, my way. Uh, that was the only way to be able to be myself uh, and to be unique and to stand out in the crowd. I'm going to talk uh, quite a bit about uh, creating your own style. Um, my experience is that uh, the best way to sell your product or service is to be unique. Almost everything has been done before. Uh, so it's a matter of finding that little something uh, that makes you unique and uh, interesting. I have been using social medias in different ways since uh, Facebook started back in uh, 2008. And I, ha I have done all the, the wrong things possible. Uh, but also uh, evolved myself in a direction where I have uh, good control over how to express myself and create attention from the people that is relevant to me and my business. Using social media is uh, something everybody can manage. It's pretty easy. You take a picture or video, you use filters and editing tools to improve the quality of your image, then you upload your image and wait for the response from your audience. So what now? You have exposed yourself uh, or your brand for a lot of people. You're waiting for the likes and comments to take in. Okay, so let's go back in time. You created your profile on Instagram and then you started the hunt to having people following your uh, profile. You got 100 the first week and then it grew from there. You started following others and hoped that they would follow you back. And after some time you have uh, 500 followers with an average engagement of about 30. Uh, engagement or engagement numbers uh, refers to uh, all the likes and comments and personal messages you get on uh, every post. Now back to your post. With uh, 500 followers you got 30 likes. Pretty disappointing, don't you think? Well, it's actually not. An engagement percentage of 6 is uh, actually considered pretty high. So then you can lean back and be happy with yourself. Not at all. We have to take a look on who gave us those likes and comments. Friends, robots, your grandma, uh, or followers that can be of value. It's important when we envy other profiles with uh, many followers and high engagement numbers to take into um, consideration who those engaged people are. In my case, it doesn't help if a chef from South Africa likes and comments all my posts, nor if my grandmother does the same. I have to recognize those people with importance for my business. So of course, uh, I have to follow as many uh, profiles as possible with the possibility to give me business. But how can I find them, you're probably wondering. Well, this is a research job you have to do yourself. You can search for relevant hashtags, uh, see who's following them, uh, you can have social media buttons uh, on your website, which also will route people to your social media profile. But first of all, we have to make a plan for ourselves. What shall I post? Is it important for my business with uh, high quality images? Or can it be a bit more sloppy? I recommend to involve people you trust in helping you making a plan for your profile. Maybe create a social media group in your company. Write down thoughts and make sure to spend some time on this before your next post. For me, it all comes down to showing people who I am, what my product is. Now I'm going to take you step by step through uh, some matters uh, that you have to take in consideration when you are planning your profile and your uh, future posts. Create your own style. To stand out on social media, you have to create your own style. If you use uh, filters, this means that you use uh, filters with uh, the same color tone and contrast on every image 
it looks so much more professional uh, when you keep your field clean. This could, for example, be if you always use the same angle when you're filming or shooting an image, uh, that you use the same kind of light every time, or that you use props on your images that gives a recognition effect. Try to be creative in everything you do. If you don't feel creative, uh, it's a good idea to learn all the features uh, in your social media app and it will help you to become a bit more um, creative. Set up your bio and make sure all relevant information is provided. Keep your feed clean. This means that you should find your picture style, a way of expressing yourself verbally and how you use your hashtags. Make sure not to mix personal stuff with uh, professional. Um, if you want to post both uh, professional and personal stuff, make sure to make different profiles and don't mix it all together. It doesn't look good. So keep your uh, feed clean and uh, try to find your own style uh, in how you post your images and how you express yourself verbally. Be short and precise. Everybody appreciate uh, short and precise messages. We tend not to read those long posts with tons of hashtags. That was a short and precise message, uh, wasn't it? Be eager, but don't be desperate. This is a quote uh, that I like to use when I talk uh, with people trying to find their position in, on social media. It's all right to be eager uh, and to show passion, um, but I believe people lose interest with, uh, when people get desperate. And I, then I mean, uh, don't overload uh, your post with emojis and tons of uh, hashtags. Try to find a communication, um, communication that suits your style. Uh, find your tone of voice. You can definitely be, be funny or serious or whatever, but do it with as much confidence uh, as you can. At least pretend that you're confident. Maybe it's enough. Uh, with just one word or maybe the image can speak for itself you decide but I think it's important to be consistent in how you express yourself uh, verbally also uh, and it's also important that you limit your post to about two a day uh, in, and then also you can do some some stories don't post if it's not good enough if you post an image or video that is not good enough, you should wait or maybe try to improve it a little bit. It can damage your business if uh, what you post is of uh, poorer quality than the previous post. That's why you have to create your own style and make a standard for yourself uh, before you start publishing. When you have created your own style, this will, this will always help you to, to keep the high level standard uh, of your uh, image or video that would be of uh, good, great importance uh, for your business. Improve your uh, camera skills. It doesn't take much effort to improve your uh, camera skills. Buy yourself a LED panel, a lighting source, a simple tripod and a reflector. Then you have the equipment uh, that you need for a almost any kind of uh, situation. The LED panel uh, lets you light the object the way you want instead of relying on the um, random daylight that, is, uh, that you're having that specific day. When you use uh, the LED panel uh, or the daylight, make sure to turn off um, the, the ceiling light, uh, spots and lamps. Uh, is uh, not a good mix with uh, daylight because the color temperature is so different. And also uh, the lamps uh, you have uh, at home um, often flickers a lot. It doesn't look good on, uh, on film especially. The tripod uh, helps you uh, with the steady image and it also free your hands so you can shape your light and style your picture uh, without uh, having to hold the camera or your phone. The reflector uh, helps you have control over the shadows. Experiment uh, a little bit with uh, holding the reflector close or far from the subject and you can see what happens uh, with the shadow. You can control 
if it should be a hard or a soft shadow. Be confident with your tools. The tools I just mentioned are, of course, very relevant. Uh, but to be confident with your uh, digital tools is also extremely important. Find an editing tool and a camera app uh, that does the work for you. I used to recommend the uh, Adobe Lightroom uh, app. With this app you can both uh, shoot, image and edit. A cool feature uh, that this has is that you can save your own presets. And as I uh, have been talking about uh, before, to create your own style, and with this application, you can actually save your personal profile. Um, so you have great uh, possibilities to uh, get the same look uh, all through your profile. But the most important thing is that you find an app that works for you. Spend time understanding it. Uh, read and watch tutorials uh, online. It's smart to use external editing apps rather than uh, using the Instagram editing tools. And the reason for this is uh, that it gives you uh, greater possibilities to create your own style. I often edit in Lightroom first and then I might use one of the filters in Instagram because they have some, some cool things about them. Uh, and then so I finish off the picture in Instagram. And remember, you don't have to post the image right after you shot it. Be a bit patient and edit it to perfection before you post it. Use stories, but be smart. Uh, the use of stories has increased a lot over the couple of years and it's maybe now it's maybe more popular than the regular uh, posts on your profile. And this feature uh, gives you the possibility to be a bit more loose. Make stories to showcase behind the scenes material. Try to combine uh, videos with a bit of humor uh, or just give short messages. But it's smart to try to keep up the good quality on these posts also. Remember that stories uh, can be planned uh, and uploaded the same way uh, that you, as the traditional posts. Don't limit yourself to use the uh, editing tool in the stories feature. You can edit your, uh, your uh, stories in an external application as well uh, to keep up the good quality, your own style uh, and to increase the recognition effect that is so important for your profile. I understand that it seems a bit circumstantial but it will give you better results in the long run. Timing is everything, but at what time? To time your post uh, is one of the most important things uh, to think about, and it's rather difficult. How can you know when your audience is uh, snooping around uh, on social media? You can find a lot of studies uh, telling you this and that time is ideal, uh, but at the end of the day, you have your own uh, unique audience that you need to understand. The studies can, of course, give you a guideline on uh, when to publish, but you should try different times of the day and explore uh, what times give you the most attention. My personal experience is uh, that I get most engagement uh, around lunchtime. People tend to write before or write after lunch. They try starting to get tired of their work and they take out their phone and uh, start uh, looking around on uh, Instagram or Facebook. Start with uh, posting around lunchtime and then you can try in the morning and the afternoon and you will so uh, soon figure out what time is the best for your profile. A neat uh, feature is uh, if you make your um, profile a business account. This is free um, and it will give you good statistics um, uh, that will help you on the way. You can also schedule your uh, Instagram content by using uh, external programs like uh, Sprout, Social or similar. Be creative in the way you communicate with your audience. Uh, don't be afraid uh, to try new stuff. Uh, it's not, this is not that serious. People love uh, creativity, they love new ideas, and they love humor. Don't be afraid, it's, uh, it's not a competition. Uh, this is for fun, but it's of course uh, 
to give us all uh, more business. The most important thing is to believe in yourself and your product. Make everybody see that you are passionate about what you do and make them believe that you are unique because you really are. How is this going to help me and why is this relevant for urban agriculture? The more professional you look, the more creative you are, it will increase the possibilities for getting more customers and followers. If you succeed with all of this, it enables you to get higher price for your product or services. Urban agriculture does not need to be charity work. Make sure you get paid what you deserve and keep up the good work, folks.